Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. We're out here for the 2019 SEMA show. Right now, we are in the South Hall. This year, otherwise known, as Gladiator Bedrack Central. Now, with the Gladiator being a truck, this opens up a whole new segment for us at Quadratech and the entire Jeep space. And we are seeing bed racks from everybody this year. So I thought I would take some time to walk you around the show and show you some of my favorite racks and go over some of the different features you can find in each of those different racks. Right now, we're gonna get started here at Maximus 3, but I'm gonna have to get down first before I can show you this thing. So one of the first things we notice now that we're down here on the ground is the combination of the tube work and the flat steel down here on the mounting points and also on this curved piece that runs the entire length of the rack, giving it this great canopy style look. One of the other things I really like about the Maximus 3 rack here is how it follows the lines of the hardtop and really just looks like it belongs back here on the back of the Gladiator. I also really like how they've incorporated a lot of tie down points. So the base rack, you're gonna get this rear upright, the front upright, the canopy pieces and the slats up top. Now, of course, I had a chance to get a better look at those when I was up there. They're made from extruded aluminum and they have the slots built into them so that you can install different mounting points all over the top of that rack for all of your different accessories and even a rooftop tent up there. Now, down here on the bottom, you see we've got these great tie down points on the corner. They're gonna help you to secure your gear in the bed of your Gladiator. And it's a modular system, so you can build onto it adding this tie down strip that runs the length of your bed back here, giving you a lot of tie down options. And this is their starting point here where you can go ahead and add a ladder. You can add the ladder on one side, both sides. It's gonna make getting up on top of the rack a lot easier when you're putting your gear up. But Maximus 3 didn't just stop at the rack on the outside, they went and step farther and added a cargo deck just inside the bed of the Gladiator for even more storage options. And we're gonna go hit some more of the show and find some more Gladiator bed racks to show you guys. So one of the things I really like about the Evo manufacturing bed rack for the Gladiator is its overall simplistic design. However, it's a very strong rack. Now we see the way that they're mounting the rack to the bed here. It actually is one continuous piece of steel that's been bent, wraps around inside the bed rail and mounts where the trail rail system mounts from the factory. So that means you will lose trail rail compatibility with this rack. However, what you gain is a lot of strength and you can rest assured knowing you're distributing that load down the whole side of the bed. So you're not gonna have a problem throwing some big spare tires or rooftop tents or any of your accessories up on this rack. Speaking of accessories, you can see we've got holes drilled all over this thing already in place. So you're not gonna have any problem bolting up lights or accessories you wanna bring along and it's gonna be really easy to put together. In fact, you're only getting five pieces. We've got the two side pieces and three crossbars for the top. You can have this thing assembled and installed in probably about 30 minutes. It is available in two sizes. We have a full height rack or like we have here, the half height rack. Check out this pretty cool prototype rack from Rugged Ridge. One of the cool things about this, it's actually designed to work with a tonneau cover. I like what they're doing here. Now, some of the really cool features that I like about Go Rhino's Overland Extreme bed rack for the Gladiator is the amount of utility they build into this thing. They've really thought about all the different types of accessories you're gonna wanna attach to a rack on the back of your Gladiator. Now, the uprights here are made from steel. There is two inch diameter bars running lengthwise. And then we've also got these great slats mounted both vertically on the side of the rack as well as across the top of the rack here to give us lots of places to attach our accessories. You can see we've got holes on the uprights here. We can attach some lights. We've got a molly webbing pattern here. We can attach accessories. And then each of these aluminum slats here have been designed to accept a quarter 20 hex head bolt that we can move around so we can attach quick mounts for our tools. We can mount our tent and things up on top. A ton of utility built right into this rack. While we've seen a lot of similarities on some bed racks walking around the show, of course, they all give you tons of customizability to mount lights, accessories, and bring all your gear along with you. The Trek rack here from Road Armor has done a few unique things that really caught my eye and I wanna show you guys. So one of the first things you'll notice here is that this rack is actually adjustable in height. So when you buy it, you're not only getting a full height rack, you're getting a mid height rack, and you're getting a setting in between as well. So you can set that rack up, and then if you change your mind down the road and you wanna to go to a full height rack or a mid height rack, you can simply unbolt the rack, 
change the height, bolt it back together, and you're set to go. They've also added some little unique touches here in these backing plates behind their logo that you can customize and paint to match or accent your Jeep and really just kind of give it that little extra touch to set it apart from everything else out on the road. But they didn't just stop there. One of the coolest things that caught my attention here walking around the show, you'll see, is the spare tire hanging underneath of the bed rack, not way up on top, prohibiting you from putting a rooftop tent up in its place, they've actually created a bracket that allows you to relocate the factory spare tire mount from underneath the bed of the Gladiator, that winch system that lowers your spare down to the ground when you need it. They're relocating that up underneath of the rack, and that allows you to set your spare in the bed, connect the winch cable to it, insert the crank through the rack, and simply pull it right up underneath, storing it away for those unfortunate times when uh, we all need a spare tire. Now, new for the SEMA show in 2019 is the Overland Experience, an entirely separate part of the show outside of the convention center here under the tent that's actually sponsored by Overland Expo. The really cool part about this piece of the show is not only do we get to see some really cool vehicle buildups, a ton of new products on display from different vendors and manufacturers, but there's also an education component being put on by Overland Expo. So they're talking about some of the differences and challenges that make the overland market different from the basic off-road market. I think it's really cool to see that happening here at the SEMA show. Now, of course, since we're out here under the tent, well, if we see a Gladiator, we can't resist coming up and checking it out. This happens to belong to the guys over at American Adventure Lab, and they've got a really cool rack system on the back here. Now, one of the first things you notice about this rack is the Molly webbing panels on the side here that give you an infinite amount of attachment points for all different kinds of accessories on this rack. They've also incorporated this L-Track cutouts throughout the rack in different places that allow you to attach these tie-down rings when you need them for different types of accessories. One of the really cool things that caught my eye with this rack is you can see here the tent that actually slides out from the rack. It's not up on top of the rack, it's actually in place underneath of the rack on this drawer system that allows you to slide it out. And by doing that, it not only puts the tent down at an easier to get in and out of level, but it also frees up the top of the rack for all of your extra accessories that you wanna bring along on your next adventure. Well, while we've shown you guys a ton of different bed rack options here at the show for your Gladiator, I'm gonna show you something a little bit different. Once you have your bed rack on your Jeep, and you've got it loaded up with a bunch of accessories while accessing all of your gear you have stored in the bed of your Gladiator can become a bit of a challenge. Now we're here at Cargo Glide to check out their Truck Glide, which allows you to simply slide your gear out so that you can access everything you have stored away in the bed of your truck. And then simply slide it right back into place. Now they've got one new product that they're working on as well. This happens to be a rack from Fab Fours, but that's not what I wanna show you guys. Up on top here is their new roof slide. They've taken that same idea and applied it to a universal product that's designed to be installed on any roof rack out there. With the flick of the lock release here, we can pull that right down and get access to any gear we wanna store up on top of our bed rack. So as you can see, they've got this outfitted with some snowboard racks and kayak racks. Of course, with a universal style platform up here, you can mount a spare tire rack, really anything you need to carry up on top of your Gladiator. And when it's time to put it back away, well, simply slide it right back into place. No more climbing on your tire up onto the side of your bed. Very easily to access everything stored up on top of your Gladiator. Definitely make sure you guys hit that info button so you're sure to check out all of our show coverage right here from the 2019 SEMA show. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're sure to catch everything, not only from the show, but much, much more. Until next time, guys, I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail.